Robot has given a chance to learn the usage of line tracking sensors, ultrasonic sensors and motor control. Through the ICO challenge, I have gained the knowledge of programming the autonomous vehicle to follow the track and finish in the fastest possible time. I am most interested in learning from CN2014 as in his challenge, he completed the challenge in the fastest time taking a lot of shortcuts. I would like to learn from him the algorithms used for the IR sensors and the color sensors. At home, I influence my sister with my knowledge on robotics and AI. At school, my CCA friends have asked me on the algorithms and I participated in the Co-Space GPU 12 First Steps. One of the strategy is the broken and white line strategy. There were places where there were broken lines and I was curious to test and see if they could help me in some way. So I devised this strategy to move forward when the IR sensors detected no lines. This helped me to shortcut one of the routes, thus helping me to save time. Throughout the challenge, on every obstacle, the robot has to make right turn and only at one junction, it has to make a left turn. So, I used the, the timer strategy to get through this barrier. It worked well and I was able to overcome this barrier. There was another strategy, was adjusting the speed. There was a time when the robot kept going off the track at the start of the challenge. It was also ineffective when it came to turning at the edges. I decreased the speed and adjusted the turn angle to better suit the route. I would like to present my iCool Challenge game video. In this, I would like to show the strategies used in my iCool Challenge. When the L1 and the L2 detect the white line, it would go faster. When the robot detects a barrier in front, the ultrasonic sensors detect the barrier and I have programmed it to turn right by default. The IR sensors would then track the line and manage the position of the robot. At this barrier, the robot needs to turn left. For this, I have used a timer strategy to overcome the default program to turn left when the robot reaches this barrier point at the given time. Also, when there are broken lines or no lines to detect, I have programmed the robot to move forward. This has helped me to provide a shortcut at this junction. I want to solve real-life problems using robotics and AI in the future, like helping elderly find their things using a heat sensor as they always tend to lose things. I want to become a software engineer and help the world and my community. Hope you all enjoyed my presentation. Your comments are welcome. I once again thank everyone for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.